okay, okay. My everyday makeup routine has changed a little bit since the last time I did one. So yeah, I'm using a couple of new products that I wanted to show you. I think, anyway. Maybe I'm just making it up. So, I always do my eyebrows first. Which is just literally doing nothing. I just brush them through because they clearly do not need to be filled in. Um, and then, lately I've been using this for, um, this for primer. It is Armani Code um, Aftershave Balm. And I found this in my dad's bathroom and decided to help myself. So, thanks dad. It's like the new thing at the moment. So I decided to try it out. It makes your makeup actually stick and stay on all day. Whereas um, with other primers I've used, it just melts away eventually. So this is amazing. So I just put a little bit of this on for primer. It's quite runny, but when it when you put it on your face, it's really, it becomes quite sticky. I'm not sure if this is the reason why my makeup um, looks so dewy at the moment. I think it's just the foundation I use because my skin always looks quite dewy with the MAC foundation I use. And my skin is just quite shiny. It's not greasy, it's just, just stands out. I also just use the same brush I use for my foundation, which is a MAC brush and it says 159. It's pretty cute. For foundation, I use MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. And I am N2, that's the shade I use. I don't put a lot on actually. And you don't need to put much foundation on at all when you're using like a, a the after shave bomb. I also tried out the Nivea one and it works just as well. And the Nivea one is only like $9 at Discount Chemist. See, my face is quite shiny. My face is quite shiny, so I don't really like doing this, but I just get my hands and kind of just rub it in, and it kind of does take the shine away because it's still just kind of on top of my face. Doesn't do a lot, I also have a light, so. Everyone always asks me how I get my skin so dewy, and I don't really like it that much, but I can't help it. I should, um, I should buy a powder, actually, to kind of mat it out a bit. For highlighter at the moment, um, where is it? Instead of um, a powder, I usually use a soft and gentle MAC. I use, oh my god, it, all the writing's rubbed off because I've had it for so long. But this is a Clinique Chubby Stick, and it is for your eyes, but I like using creamy products on my face. What the hell it is but it's this thing called a chubby stick and what I do it's it's like really bronzy and what I do is just put it on my cheek like that and um, rub it in <laughs> like I don't know if this looks very good but I like the look of it so that's all that matters Kind of 
bronzes up my face a little bit, give it a little bit more colour. So yeah, that's my highlighter. Kind of. <laughs> and I still use the same blush. Um, this is a NARS one and it's um, Angelica or Angelica. And it's very, um, it's very pink it's like the same color as my nail polish. This is a Real Techniques brush. Multitask brush. I love pink blush. Very, very pink blush. So I pop that on. And I haven't actually been wearing mascara lately. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Um, <laughs> I haven't been wearing mascara because I've noticed when I go out, it kind of melts and it just, it goes um, under my eyes and I just look really dead. So I've just been curling them lately. Okay, okay, that is clearly more pumped up than the other one. So that's that. And what do I do next? I uh, I put lip balm. On. Yeah. Um, these three are lip tints, which I love. That's like my favorite sort of thing to put on my lips. I love lip balm and I love my lips to just look a little bit tinted, like they have a little bit of color. Because sometimes when I don't do that, I look quite pasty. I look really washed out and sick. So I need a good berry on my lips to feel alive. <laughs> so let's try these out. Maybe you might buy yourself one. I definitely would. I would spend all my money on lip products. Oh, I already do actually. So oh yeah, that's me. And this, <laughs> I've already used it and I got it like yesterday. Um, this is the best stuff ever. I still use it on my lips. It is lanolin and manuka honey and it smells like honeycomb. It smells like honey on toast. I wanna eat it. Okay, I'm hoping I'm gonna do and this is just a multi-purpose balm. So, um, yeah, it's for everything. Um, extreme hydration for chapped lips, super dry skin patches, cuticles, dry nasal passages, and more. And this one is like, I use it for my hands and stuff and just really dry patches on my body. Yeah, a universal skin salve for exceptionally dry, rough, and unhappy skin all over. Transforms dry skin to completely reconditioned, nourished, super hydrated, and silky skin. Cute! With all my lip products, I apply them with a little lip brush. This one is Dior, and I'm not actually sure what it's called, but maybe they only have one lip brush, so. And I'm going to start off with the lightest one, which is called Rose. Very pinky and very rosy. Oh, I thought it would be a lot more thicker, but I love this. It's um, really glossy. Okay, the next one I have is called Perfect Nude. I love it's focusing. So this is kind of the same colour as my lips already. They're all kind of the same consistency and really glossy, which I really like at the moment. Never been a massive fan of matte lips, and I, I've actually never really been a massive fan of lipstick. Maybe when I was a bit younger and had no clue what I was doing. I'm pretty sure I used to wear orange lipstick. So. This one is 
Uh, red apple. Yeah. This is my favorite. I even um wear these sort of colors and these sort of lip products when I'm not wearing any makeup or when I'm not wearing much makeup at all. Is it just makes me just a little bit more alive? I don't know why, but that's just my mentality <laughs> when I look in the mirror. I'm like, ooh, big juicy lips. So it must mean I'm just like ready to take them out, I guess. Why can I not speak? What is happening? Just kidding, I can never speak.